IQ Park is uh, innovation in uh, quantum pedagogy, application and relation to culture. It's an institute, it's an education center between Northwestern University and Purdue University where we involve uh, faculty, undergrad students, grad students to develop quantum uh, modules, learning modules for students at different levels. And uh, the mission of IQ Park is to demystify uh, quantum concepts. These quantum concepts can be confusing can be counterintuitive, and that increases the barrier to entry to this kind of concept. Our mission is to lower the barrier so students at different levels can learn something from it and can contribute to the development of the technology itself. Department of Defense, specifically the National Defense Education Program, has identified quantum technology as a prioritization area. And the reason for that is uh, we do expect this quantum technology to influence uh, computation, security, communication, and sensing and navigation in future. So we started the quantum teaching for high school teachers in 2022 and we started with 10 teachers. Last year we had 12 more teachers, so it was like 20 teachers. And I worked, I worked with them, bi-weekly meeting with them during the semester to create the curriculum. It was a cryptography unit uh, that we used. We used uh, one um, developed kit uh, to be able to develop their understanding about cryptography process. Quantum key distribution was one of the uh, key, key uh, concepts that we actually taught, uh, taught them. And the following year, it was radioactive decay unit uh, we developed. Based on the engagement results, so we have the engagement mm -hmm. survey. So students, the engagement survey actually have four subscales, emotional, uh, cognitive, behavioral, and social. social. Mm -hmm. So on all, we are seeing an increase. So mm -hmm. relatedly, mm -hmm. I expect there is an increase on the career interest as well, So because they typically correlate to each other. Based on my talk with teachers, just uh, informal talks with them, I am hearing that 10 teachers continue teaching, and their previous teach students joining our data collection ask their teachers, oh, are we gonna have quantum lessons again this year? I think this is kind of like showing that their interest is still ongoing. We started the Quantum Game Club in fall 2021 at Purdue, establishing a student-centric quantum organization where we develop the necessary materials to educate mostly undergrads on quantum uh, concepts. The goal is to mostly have fun developing quantum games and in the meantime uh, learn some good uh, quantum skills including programming, including quantum computing concepts and also learn a little bit of quantum mechanics. The general environment is that hey everyone can come here and just talk about quantum computing and learn about it if they are at all interested. And with quantum computing being a upcoming rising field, students often don't know much about it. And for most students, or basically everyone, it is inaccessible in terms of difficulties. And what we want to create is just mostly resources that students can use to not only learn about quantum computing, but also research in quantum computing using their own specialization in whatever field they're interested in. We made the Quantum Age YouTube channel for anyone who is curious about all things quantum. What I try to do to make these quantum concepts accessible to everybody who's curious about it, and I mean everybody, curious people of all ages, is I try to bring it back to things you already know. So I use a lot of analogies between the strange quantum world that you don't yet know and the things in your life that you do already know. The other thing I try to do is show you places in your life where you already have quantum mechanics that you can hold in your hands. One of the goals we have for the Quantum Age is to continue to put out videos that help you break down quantum concepts into manageable bite-sized pieces that you can say enjoy over a cup of coffee. Another goal I have is to uh, let people know about the wonderful new discoveries we're making in the field of quantum materials. This is where we take the quantum properties 
that are typically locked at the atomic scale and pull them to the forefront in a material where we can use them and control them. So far, we have engaged more than 150 students taking in-person classes. More than 2,000 students have audited our online courses. We have engaged more than 1,000 students at the middle school level and uh, some of the videos that we have created online has been viewed by more than, more than 80,000 students. So we see that as an impact that is growing and interest that is growing within the community. And so we try to bring attention to the community and make sure that the students and learners and general public do have access to that knowledge and also would appreciate that and would pay attention to this going forward. So I think that's part of what we do and that's why we try to create this educational activities at different levels so we can bring attention to the community.